Welcome back to the Cybermen, guys. Today we have another best of one battle, finally. I know it's been a little while. We had regionals and we had all the deck lists to get out, so that is why we kind of put a pause on these. But this is a set 13 best of one battle, supreme rivalry. It is myself playing Chilled versus Dylan playing his blue Super Saiyan 2 Gohan deck. Uh, a deck profile for the blue Super Saiyan 2 Gohan will be going out tomorrow, so keep an eye out for that. But look at this gameplay now. I hope you enjoy it. Also, there is a little kind of bit where some ad came on in the background or something and I didn't realize, so I apologize for that, but it's only for a second, so just uh, just ignore that little bit of noise. Otherwise, thanks for watching again, guys. Enjoy. Alrighty, we got myself on the left here playing Chilled. Versus Dylan on the right playing his blue Gohan. Um, Gohan starting us off charging a skillless, which is what you want here. Uh, all your mini battle cards play skillless cards from energy. So you want to charge a skillless turn one always with that Gohan. Uh, I'm attacking. So with Chilled, when you attack, you take a life and play a Chilled's army token, which is a 10k. Uh, here's the Demigra. Plusing up and attacking with a 15. So you can go very aggro with this deck early, but the problem is then once you have kind of your opponents awakened, then you are facing a 15k. As you can see here, he's awakened, so he's now 15k against lots of 10ks. Uh, you can get your Chill's Army tokens buffed in this. Um, I obviously counterplayed his. Skillless card there, but because the skillless card still hits play, he can awaken. Because the Gohan has a clause when you play a skillless card from your energy, you may draw two cards uh, and flip this card over. Then when he attacks, he can pick up a, a card from energy and charge a battle card. He actually charged a unison there, but um, he did realize afterwards that he was only allowed to charge battle cards. So we'll just forgive him for that one. See that champ pan and energy? That's actually because I just couldn't find any Demigres at the time. I threw this deck together really quickly. So I just had those on me because I just opened those packs. So I ended up putting them in. It actually survives pretty well. Uh, because it makes your leader a blocker, you can block. It's kind of like a Demigra, but you get a combo step almost. So if they attack it, you block with your leader and same deal. It's definitely not as good as Demigra though. I would not put it in here. I would not advise using it in probably any deck to be honest. Tapping one for Chilled's Army Assemble. I can't remember what uh, that card is called. But it lets you play a Chilled's Army or Chilled in rest mode from your deck. So I play that Chilled. That guy restands at the end of the turn. So it's pretty much made for this card. It's probably going to be a pass here or... Playing the one drop, which I probably should have done first, to be honest. So this guy is a one drop 5k, take a life when he attacks and play a chilled army token. He only gets 5k, so he's only a, a 10k. I'm comboing the freezer to get it to 15. Forcing my opponent to drop a card or take the life. And restanding chilled at the end of the turn. So this chilled, uh, if your opponent has three energy, you tap three and you can play a chilled with an energy cost of five from your deck or hand. Uh, with this, you want to be playing the set two five drop chilled, which is really cool. That's the main reason I wanted to play this deck, just because it does allow you to play such a um, an old card. Uh, it's definitely not a good deck in the meta. It's not viable for taking on the big decks, but it is a lot of fun. So my opponent using the leader skill to play out a, to grab a card and charge a TN, which then allows him to play a skillless, but I did freezer that skillless again. I know that this deck, he requires a skillless in play to be able to play the Gohan, which is why I keep stopping him from doing that. Obviously the freezer counterplay doesn't do anything to the Gohan. 
so there's no point in having it. He does have a hatchy I can play, which is really annoying for me. Hatchy I can hand, sorry. But I obviously don't know that. He's not used the hatchy yak. He's probably going to see if um, if he needs it. So that guy, when you combo with it, uh, you get to choose one of your uh, tokens and it gains plus 5k and crit. So that makes that a 20k crit attack, which is pretty nice for a combo, single 5k combo. Attacking with the 15k. Taking a life. He's going... I was just trying to get him down to 3 because obviously the shield is a triple striker. Um, probably going to get hit by a negate here. So this is a set 2 shield. He has a skill that you activate main, switch one of your Chilled Army tokens to rest mode, and he gains triple strike. He then also gives all your Chilled Army tokens 5k combo power, zero combo cost, and allows you to combo with them in rest mode, which is actually really cool. It just means that they are always live. It means that those tokens, which were not really useful previously, are now useful. Chilled awakens at three life, as you can see. Uh, it allows you to untap one and draw two, because he does need to be at three life. You're taking a lot of life with this deck, so it's very easy to get to three. Um, and on this side, when he attacks, you draw a card and play a token. And then... I haven't used this the chilled thing yet. Looks like I'll probably do that now. Yep, switching a Chilled Army token to rest mode to give him triple strike. Which will most likely be negated. I did see a Goku Vegeta negate in hand. There you go. I don't know why I didn't attack the unison with my unison. Strange. And there's the Vegeta playing the trunks, and this time I didn't have a counterplay, which isn't surprising since I already used two. He needs four energy to play his win con. Uh, this is the Gohan. Comes in for one if you have a skillless in play. Um, it gets lets you bottom deck a battle card with an energy cost of three or less, I believe. And tokens don't have an energy cost, so you can't bottom deck them. Looks like he's... Oh, yep. Yeah. No dormant steel, which is unfortunate. I don't think. Yeah, that's just in a gate. To play a Chilled Army token. Putting the skillless in play there. And now I can combo with my rest mode Chills Army tokens. Bringing the Janemba in, 19k crit dual attack. It feels so good to be able to combo with those rest mode tokens. I'm explaining it again. And the permanent says. 
all your chills army tokens to be common in this mode and then you can go plus five to be Billy Harney with the Chicago PD. Every detective has a case that changes them forever. This. Shit. I just realized that I was had the voice of the game on there. I hope it wasn't too annoying. Um, I'll double check after this to make sure it's okay to play. I really don't have. I hope I don't have to record this again. <laughs> <coughs> <coughs> So he's attacking my unison here. Tapping three for another dual attacker. So both Janimbas go at the end of the turn. I don't think Dylan realized that it did leave. But after all that, I didn't even realize that um, he just had a Hatchiak in hand anyway, so it does just end the turn here. Trunks stopping my overarm to clear the blocker. I don't think I attack with leader here. Very big mistake. I should have attacked with leader first. There's another one. Another skill that's in play. Such a really a cool effect. Um, boom. Tapping out for the Gohan, which is a triple strike. When And it's clearly game here, but I decided to let him play it out, I think. Two, warp one. Seeing if I get in a gate, and I don't think I did somehow. He's using his skill to bottom deck chilled. Which I clearly should have used that chilled to combo. I forgot about that attack, the skill to restand and bottom deck something. And that is game. Thanks for watching, guys. Keep an eye out for the deck profile for Dylan's Gohan. It will be out tomorrow. So keep an eye out for that. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Cheers as always. Thanks for watching. Thanks for supporting, guys. If you want to help support further, jump in the link in the description below to palmsoffgaming.com.au. Look 
for your grading needs, for your folders, for your binders, and put the code CYBERMAN in in the checkout. It helps me out. It helps you out. You'll get 10% off. Really, really awesome. Thanks for watching again, guys, and enjoy.